Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the DigitNow Bluetooth record player. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Here's how it comes packaged too, in a nice and simple retail box. We can turn it around to this side too so you can learn more about this product. We can see it just on the packaging. So this is a CD player, a turntable, a cassette player, auxiliary input, and it has an AM, FM radio. And you can record directly to a flash drive without having a computer as well. So now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up we have the user manual right here complete with step-by-step -step instructions. Next we have a remote control to control the media player. So we can see we have all the main functions on the remote control. We have your auxiliary cable, two speakers and the media player itself. Now let's look at the media player and the speakers in more detail. The speakers are identical to each other and they're constructed out of wood. You can see the four feet at the base of the speakers. And on the back side, they have your RCA audio cable that connects to the media player. The speakers plug directly into the back. You can see it's clearly marked for you. We have your FM radio antenna and your AC power cord as well. We can flip it over to the bottom of the unit so you can see the four feet that you have. Then turning it on its side, you can see where we can put a cassette tape then we can flip it over to the front as well. So you can see on the front, we have a lot of different controls and options, auxiliary in, headphones, USB, SD card slot, multiple control buttons on both sides, your CD player, your LCD screen, and we have two knobs for you. We have your tuning knob and your power and volume. Then we can look at it from the top as well. So we can see the turntable. So we can go ahead, we can open that up and you can see the turntable right there. Now let's go ahead, let's power it on and try it out. To power on the device, go ahead, hold down the power button for five seconds until the screen turns on and you're ready to start using your device. Don't forget you can also control it with the included remote control, but just select the mode to whatever option you want and then start enjoying your content. So we have it on the radio right now. We can turn it up. Tomorrow in the impeachment trial. You can hear the radio right now. Day four, Democrats in their final seven hours of opening arguments. House manager Hakeem Jeffries focusing on what he calls the president. So it has AM and FM stations and everything sounds great. Now we change modes and put a cassette tape in so you can hear the cassette playing. And then if you want to fast forward the cassette tape, go ahead. Where the eject button is, you can push it down halfway in. It will stay in for you and it's fast forwarding the tape. Then just push the button again and now you can resume playback. So you can hear the music right there. Now we change the mode to auxiliary and we plug in our mobile device. Let's go ahead, let's play some music. Now we change the mode to blue on the device and we connected it with our smartphone using Bluetooth. It's going to show up as M50. Go ahead, pair to that device. And now you can start listening to music. So let's go ahead, let's play back that song. There it is. Now we can listen to a CD. We have an SD card inserted now and it can recognize MP3 and WMV formats. Now we have a USB flash drive inserted and that can also recognize and play back MP3 and WMV files. Now the mode has changed to LP. We have a record installed already. We have our speed control toggle up here, 33, 45, and 78. We also have our auto stop feature. It's currently on, but you can select off if you desire. You can see too, we have this locked in place right now for the arm. 
So we just unlocked it. Now we can raise it up and you can see the record starting to spin. We're playing some Beethoven, so let's go ahead, let's drop it down. And now you can enjoy some music. Now we can try out the auto stop feature. So since we have it on, let's go ahead, let's drop it down towards the end of the record and watch everything shut off automatically. So there we go, it works great. You can also see with auto stop turned off, it will continue to rotate indefinitely even when the needle has been removed. You can also play 45s with the included adapter. Go ahead, just pull it right out, stick it in place, grab your 45, go ahead, get everything seated. Now we can come back over here and we're ready to play it. So we can just go ahead and drop it back down. If you want to record your records to USB or SD card, go ahead, get your record all set up, plug in your USB flash drive or insert your SD card, then head over here and select the record button. So go ahead, push the record button. There you can see it's flashing USB and we're ready to start recording. So go ahead, push it again to confirm. Now you can see record is flashing on the screen. It's currently not recording right now. We need to push the play and pause button when we're ready to record. So let's go ahead, let's drop this back down. Let's push the play pause button and now you can see it's recording. So when you're ready to stop recording, go ahead, select the stop button. Now you can see records flashing again and then we need to select the record button one more time and recording is complete. Now we can listen back to that new recording on our USB flash drive. Just change modes, select USB, find the file you just recorded and push play. Everything sounds great. We can record cassettes the same way. So we currently have it in tape mode and we have a cassette inserted. Now if we want to start recording, go ahead, select the record button. So push the record button. Now we're going to choose USB because that's what we have installed. Go ahead, select record again. Now we just need to push the play pause button to begin recording. When you're ready to stop recording, go ahead, select the stop button. You can see record is now flashing. REC is flashing on the screen. Now we need to push the record button one more time and we finished recording. Now we can listen to our new cassette recording on our USB flash drive. So go ahead, select mode and select USB, find the track and go ahead and select play. So everything sounds great. To record from CD, go ahead, change the mode to CD mode, insert your CD. Once you have it inserted, go ahead, push the stop button. Now we're ready to record. So go ahead, select the record button. You can see it's flashing USB. We have our USB drive plugged in. Push the record button again. Now we can select which audio track we want to record. So go ahead, once you have the track selected, you can see we can browse all the audio tracks on this CD. Go ahead, select the one you want, then hit the record button again. It's gonna work on recording it for you. You can see copy flashing on the screen. Once it's done recording, copying will stop flashing and you're all set. Now we can listen to our CD recording on the USB flash drive. Go ahead, select mode and select USB. Now identify the track. Here it is, we can push play. Everything sounds great. To record in Bluetooth mode, go ahead, select mode in blue. With your pair device, have your music ready to play. Go ahead, select the record button. We see USB flashing because we have our USB drive connected. Go ahead, push the record button again. And now you can see it's flashing record, it's ready to go. So let's go ahead, let's push play on our mobile device so we can hear the song and let's push play to start recording. Now it's recording it for us. When you're ready to finish recording, go ahead, select the stop button. You'll see record is flashing on the screen. Now we gotta go ahead and push the record button one more time and our recording is complete. Now we can play back our Bluetooth recording. We're gonna be playing it from the USB flash drive. So go ahead, select mode USB. Then you can play the recording back.
everything sounds great. To record from auxiliary, go ahead, select mode, aux, plug in your device to the aux in port, as you can see right here. Then go ahead, select record. Once you push the record button, you'll see USB flashing because we have our USB drive plugged in. Then we can go ahead, select record again. And now it's flashing, ready for us to begin recording. So once we're ready to record, go ahead, push the play pause button. So let's play it on our device. And now let's record it. To finish recording, go ahead, select the stop button. You can see record is now flashing on the screen. Once it's flashing, go ahead, select the record button one more time. And now your recording is complete. Now we're gonna play back our auxiliary recording from our USB device, select mode, USB. Now we can go ahead and push play. Everything sounds great. Now we're gonna conduct a decibel test. I'll be using the TAC Life Tools sound meter right here and I have the CD still in that we're gonna play just to see how loud the speakers go at max volume, which if you're wondering, max volume is 31, U31 as you can see on the screen right there. So let's go ahead, let's play the CD and see how loud it gets. So we maxed out at 119 decibels. On average for that song, we were getting right around 95 decibels at max volume. Before I forget, I wanna let you guys know when you're recording to USB or SD, it's gonna record as an MP3 file for you at 192 kbps, so keep that in mind. After spending some time using this unit, I gotta say it's really compact and it's full of a ton of features as you could see in this video. We can record everything if we want, and we can play just about every type of media. Cassettes, records, CDs, radio. We have Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB, and SD. So, so many different options in a very simple and easy to use interface. This is definitely a basic converter. I wouldn't say this is made for people that have a huge collection that they're trying to convert to digital. This is just for somebody that's casually has a couple of songs here or there that they're not too picky on the quality or when it starts or stops or anything along those lines to record and have a digital option. Or for somebody that just has a lot of different cassettes, records, and has Bluetooth streaming, all that stuff, and they want just a nice tabletop unit, desktop unit, bookshelf unit to play some stuff casually around the house, that sort of thing. That's who I think this is made for. But overall, everything worked as advertised. It's just cheap. So it's made out of cheap materials. And I wanna point out when I tried to do the CD eject for the first time, the tray was actually stuck in there and I had to pry it out. And then I was able to bend it into shape and now it's worked properly. But just keep that in mind, it is cheap. But they did spend some time designing it. So you can see we can use it with the cover closed. The record's not gonna hit anything or be blocked by anything. And they do give you the 45 adapter as well. So everything works and they did spend some time designing it. And you even have a remote control as well, which is nice and convenient if you're not nearby this. But enough about what I think. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you're interested in this product, don't forget the link to it is also in my video description below. So please go ahead, check that out and do your shopping from there. Go ahead to hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and don't want you to miss anything. Please, please, please go ahead and give us a follow online too. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can message us on WeChat. Check out our website, join our free newsletter guys. Follow us on Twitch and join our Discord server as well. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.